We mm. all have it inside. Yeah. Most guys will never tap that though, which is which is which sucks, right? Most guys will not tap their full potential. Mm. Just how good they can look, how great they can feel, and how much money they could have in their bank account, mm. right? And how great of a girl they could probably lock down. Mm. You know, most guys have that ability. Mm. They they won't they won't tap into it, right? Mm. No matter how much you pound it into them, but mm. it's in everybody's everybody's ability to do it. What's good everybody? I wanted to let you guys know that the standard spring collection is officially live. You can go ahead and get your black suit as well as black tuxedo and the navy and gray suit as well. Also by buying a suit you get access to this extraordinary community of men committed to excellence. Go to the affluentstandard.com and get your suit before they're all sold out. It's just not popular what you're yeah. saying. It's not. That's the problem. Yeah. You know, what is popular, it, it, it's, a, it's a numbers game, right? H how much money you can make, how many women you can bang, how many followers you have. Like, th that's that's what's popular right now. That's yeah. what people want to hear. Yeah. And people will always tune in into one, what they actually want to hear, not what they need to hear. I you know? agree with you. And so, to me, I told somebody this. I was at a, we had a live show, and a guy asked me a question. He said, he said you know, I'm making $300,000 a year. I'm living my best life, this, that, and the third. Why should I not travel the world, bang chicks, and sow my royal oats. <laughs> so, so <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I initially, you know, gave him, gave him um, my thoughts about, about it. Then, uh, then Chris was sharing for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped <clears throat> and I said, you know what? I was wrong about what I just said. What I think you should do, what I believe you should do as a man, I was wrong, is do exactly that. You have your money, travel the world, do exactly what's on your heart. But here's what's gonna happen: thirty years down the line, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be at, I'm gonna be doing a a a, a, a speech. Mm -hmm. I want to bring you on stage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a microphone. I'm having a microphone. Mm -hmm. Tell me how your life turned out, and I'll tell the world how my life turned out, and we'll be the judge. You see the see the reality of, of the of the internet generation is this, Jose. There's there's two trains that a man can hop on. One train leads to his destiny, the other tra train leads to his destruction. Yeah. There's many different people who yeah. are telling you to go on one of these two trains. A lot of guys, the, the, what we're really gonna see is in 30 years from now. Yeah. We're gonna see the, the vice that you follow, where did that take you? That's that like to me, I'm telling like the scoreboard is not right now. We don't know nothing. You're 27, I'm 31, we're young. Bro, like 30 years from now, Though those guys that tell you go there, mm -hmm. the guys like Jose to tell you to go there, we will see 30 years from now, how do these two men end up? That's gonna be the real test. Yeah. And yeah. I think what is unfortunately happening is that so many guys are not realizing that. They're playing the short-sighted game. Well, that's what I was gonna say, right? Like people, it's, it's so easy to, to feed into your vanities, right? Yeah. Like it's so easy to just travel and and bang women and do what you want because that it, it's easier than the alternative. Work your ass off, high stress, potentially lose everything, right? What sounds better? Mm. What sounds more enjoyable now? And again, like you said, ultimately you have to do what you what what, what makes you happy, right? So if the short term is what makes you happy, go for that. Like no, like at the end of the day, you're a full grown man. You shouldn't let any man tell you what to do. All we're doing is giving you advice. This is what I believe is right. And this is what's worked in my life. You say what you believe is right and what has worked in your life. And that's all you can do. Mm -hmm. Right? I ain't nobody's dad. Of course. Right? No, like, and, and by the way, as a man, you should not let any other man tell you what to do. You should just take advice and you do as you please. This is what you think is going to make you the happiest. Most men, and, and, and by the way, this is just, this is just human nature, right? our brains always like taking the path of least resistance, mm. right? And the path of least resistance is enjoy now. Mm. Enjoy the fruits now, right? Versus delay that gratification, put your head down, work, and then enjoy after, mm. right? Or look out for your family or create that generational wealth. Mm -hmm. That sounds boring. Mm. Think about it. Yeah, it your brain doesn't like that. Yeah. You're going to exert all this energy mm. up front. You don't want to do that. Right? Your brain will. Your brain is hardwired to take that path of least resistance and con and and uh, conserve energy, mm. and that's going to be enjoy right now. A hundred percent. And so, to me, one <clears> of the <throat> things I told people all the time is that, you know, while I'm a guy, while Jose is a guy, my advice to men is find a man at fifty five 
that's where you want him to be. It's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Find a man who's <clears throat> achieved that destination and who's has that long term mindset. Learn from him. Follow him. Take the steps that he's taken in life. Because you're right. When you're young, your brain is so short sighted and short minded. And I really believe that's what prevents a lot of men from going to the next level. Because from the <clears throat> beginning, what happened to you? Getting married, then having a child, it, it stopped from Jose's just living life now to no, Jose has to pay the, the path for the Zuniga generation for three down. It opened your, 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 your vision. Yeah. It expounded upon it. Yep. But because so many men are just here, yep. so short-sighted, yep. they make so many bad decisions that ruin their lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and like we said, it's the popular thing to do because it's what you want to hear. Yeah. It's what you want to hear. Yeah. You know, and have you seen a normal distribution curve, by the way? Oh, which one? Uh, have you ever taken statistics? Yeah, yeah. I know you're talking okay. about. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, a normal yeah, distribution yeah, curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a toy recently. <laughs> um, and it's cool because it shows you just how how it works, right? Like basically, uh, the the I think it's like the first DVA or like the, the majority of it is like 70%, right? This is where most people fall into. And it, what it made me realize when it comes to like dealing with employees or dealing with customers or just mm -hmm. dealing with people in general is that it doesn't matter how hard you pound people information like this. Ultimately, the majority will always fall in that center, that average amount. Mm. That average amount is where people like to be. That's where they're comfortable. Mm. And then you have the outliers. Mm. And that's the 5%, right? On both the, the, the low and the high extreme. Mm. That's the few that you're going to actually end up reaching. And ultimately, you, Hafiz, or me, with what we do, if you can just alter that few 5%, you've done enough. Because mm. that's all you'll ever touch. It doesn't matter how hard you pound people. They won't move out of what they're normal, what what they're what they that's feel good. comfortable in, that's you know. Good. And by the way, that that's just advice that I took also even with my own employees and and understanding how they work and their dynamic, right? And mm -hmm. how hard you can push people, et cetera, right? But uh, yeah, people just like people like what's normal. People like what's comfortable, and, mm -hmm. th and that's okay. That's not a judgment, by yeah. the way. No, that's that's really <clears throat> good. And I think to me, when we were creating the standard, that's what I realized. I realized that there's a lot of people with no matter how much, I was a teacher and I was a teacher for so many years and no matter how great the lesson is, no matter how many lollipops you give the kids, <laughs> no, no matter what you do, yeah. they just want to get B's. Correct. They just want to be average. <clears throat> you know, they just want to, you know, live the life of least resistance. And to Bingo. me, I realized is that there's no, I'm the, I was the kind of teacher that like all young teachers believe they can change everybody. Yep. And then you realize only person that can change a man is God. And that, and that man himself. Yeah. And so I realized that, okay, I spent my whole life trying to change people, but now let me now partner with the ones, that 1%, yep. with that 2%, with that 3%. Let me partner with those guys who want these things. Yep. Because to convince the 70% to want these things and to work this hard and to strive for all these things is almost impossible. Yeah. But creating that community and partnering with those guys, <clears throat> I think to me was exactly why we created what we created. And ultimately, it's like you said, it, it, it's up to the guy. Uh, none of this, like wh while it's hard, it's not rocket science, right? Every guy can have more money, every guy. And that's coming from a guy that had no money, mm -hmm. right? Every guy can be better with women. Every guy can be more confident. Every guy can dress better. Every guy can look better. Like it's in, it's in your hands. It's in everybody's hands. And, and this is why my content and your content is so popular, right? We help expose those, those ways that you can take to, to, to bring out that best version of mm -hmm. every guy. We mm -hmm. all have it inside. Yeah. Most guys will never tap that though, which is which is which sucks, right? Most guys will not tap their full potential. Mm. Just how good they can look, how great they can feel and how much money they could have in their bank account. Mm. Right? And how great of a girl they could probably lock down. Mm. You know? Most guys have that ability. Mm. They they won't they won't tap into it, right? Mm. No matter how much you pound it into them. But mm. And everybody's everybody's ability to do it. I want to close with this, Jose. <clears throat> what I love the most about you, you have the money. 
You have the, the, the woman, you have the business, you have the success, you have the cars, you have the watches. <laughs> we were just talking about watches. Yeah. <laughs> now you have the suits. Uh, and now you, you hey, got to be clean, bro. Yeah. Jeez. You, have, you have everything, <clears throat> but you're still a man of God and a man of character. Oh, because everything I got came from God. And here's the crazy part. God could take it in half a second. Everything you just said, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, a gasp of the wind, mm. right? Just, it could go. In a second, I could lose everything. Mm. The entire enchilada. God gave me everything. I'm just here working, man. What do you think for the, because the guys understand, a lot of guys I'm connecting with, they love that about you. And they're wondering, what can <clears throat> a man do Mm -hmm. who's trying to be a high achieving man, trying to excel in his family life, his business life, his personal life, and all these things. Mm -hmm. How? What is that one thing that you do that keeps you grounded to God as you continue to be successful without letting the vanity, the, the, the you know, the <clears throat> oh, pride and the no. ego to turn you away from God and to be consumed totally with self? That's so hard, bro. So I've never, I really don't talk a lot about God like that. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I keep it pretty personal. Yeah. Um, I think the only time is, is with you, yeah. but that's because you're a fellow yeah, believer. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so funny that you say that. I, I don't think I've ever said this to anybody, but I remember when I was uh, when I was poor, right, or not poor, but just broke. Um, that time that I told you that I that I really like prayed and I was like, man, like God, I you know I I need something here, and He told me to keep pressing. I remember I, I made kind of like a deal in my head with uh, him. And I was like, you know, it, it, it was an honest deal too. Yeah. I was like, yo, if if the money will ever screw me over, like like I'll, I'll lose myself or, or, or uh, you know, be filled with vanity or ego. I don't want it. Just don't, don't even, don't let me touch it because I know once I touch it, I'm gone, right? And uh, thankfully he let me touch it. So I'm assuming <laughs> God, God has my yeah, back or something yeah, here because yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly, I have, I have no idea. Other than that, you know, I just, I, I, I'm just so fully self-aware that it was God's opening door and opportunity and, and just even giving me the motivation to keep going because I was this close of quitting mm -hmm. that has me here. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so many people quit. It's so easy to quit. And for some reason, I, I don't know why I don't quit. And I just keep going, even though things can suck and, and I'm, I'll be filled with stress, I don't quit. And I just know that that has to be God. That motivation has to be coming from him. And, and, and that self-awareness just, you know, it, 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 it helps me understand that this is the way I picture it all the time. I think I've said this before. I feel like God gave me a field, like mm -hmm. a field, like think like, like, you know, for crops. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm just a farmer and I'm working that field. And <clears throat> think, think, think of it like your dad, like he gives you a field, right? It, it would almost be an insult to not work that field. That's why I work so passionately, right? Like I've been given a gift. It would be an insult. I would spit in God's face mm -hmm. if I weren't to wake up at four in the morning and cultivate this field. Mm -hmm. This, this is a blessing, right? Um, that that that's honestly the only thing and then my wife my wife's been amazing man like my wife anytime she sees me a little like you know you 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 you're relying too much on your own strength there a mm, little bit you know yeah. she she always nudge me in the right direction that's which amazing. is you know my wife was a another gift from god yeah. um those two things probably i would say uh anchor me